What's going on, y'all? Uh, got a couple more celebrations, mini tins, also four Evolving Skies packs. Uh, let's get into it. I need these. Uh, I can't remember which two I need, but I want to complete that picture that these cards make. So I need uh, the two two more. I got to check and see which, what the two more are. I know for sure that I haven't opened those yet. So, so hopefully I can get like a charizard or i need rocket zapdos luxray uh, garchomp it's different stuff like that let's see if we got anything out of evolving skies definitely one of the um best sets in the sword and shield era uh Probably my favorite. I've really liked it. I like Chilling Rain uh, as a set too, but the pull rates were absolutely atrocious. So that kind of sucks. But hey, we got a Galarian Zapdos Hollow. That's pretty cool. I did get the alternate art from Chilling Rain. Uh, if any of you guys seen that short. I have a buddy that's also in the Pokemon. He sold it to me at a good price, so had to cop because your boy most likely wasn't gonna get pulled up. <clears throat> what do y'all think about that? Also, what do y'all think of the Fusion Strike set upcoming? Are y'all a fan? Um, I got some nice alternate art cards. I might, I may just do that, like pick those up, cause that Gengar alt art is super, super cool. Obviously, the Mew alt art is uh really nice, and then the uh, I even like the Guinness Genesect where he's break dancing and stuff. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool, but yeah, that. It's kind of a little demoralizing, too, because that set is so huge, and it's just like, man. <laughs> it's going to be rough. But I'm definitely going to crack at least an ETB and some packs. Um, just got to see. Gotta, I'm trying to save my money um, for the other products coming out. Like I said, it's all about picking and choosing what you want to open. So if you could, let me know what you guys have been opening up. Uh, sadly, I missed out like when Walmart was putting out the Sun and Moon base set ETBs. Nice. So we got an Umbreon V. I think I already have him. So that's a double. But man, okay at least two hits from our pack so ain't gonna be mad at that you gonna hear me complain come on boy chill out back there let's see if we get uh, anything in this last pack but yeah i missed out on those and the sword and shield base set which those would have been pretty awesome too but I, I think I've seen like a couple of videos saying that Vivid Voltage will be re-released, the ETBs and the Darkness Ablaze. So definitely going to be on the lookout for those. See if I can't get any magic with that. Like I've heard that the Vivid Voltage pull rate is pretty good, but I swear like I never hit anything. Flapple is going to be our hollow. And let's go in order. Let's see. Fifth generation. And what was X and Y? The sixth, I guess. I would love to see a remake of the Unova region. Um. <clears throat> This was definitely one of my favorite Pokemon games. I put a ton of time into it. You guys can see me in the reflection. 
Um, yeah, definitely have. Once I have all these put together, I'm gonna glue them or something on a board and have it in the backdrop most of the time because I think that's pretty cool. But of course, you get that the two celebrations and the darkness of blaze. Let's see what we can get. Let's crack this darkness of blaze first. Code card didn't want to come out, guys. It's crazy. There y'all go. Blue Brava, Simisir, Starly, Skarmory, Pan Sage, Electric. He's one of my favorites. Cor Corvus Squire. And then Hydragon non hollow rare. Also, if you guys know anybody that buys like bulk Pokemon, could you let me know? Because I have like a ton of it that I would like to get rid of. But let's see what we can get out of these celebration packs. <clears throat> There's a Kyogre. Veltal, Groudon, Professor's Research. There we go. Cosmog, Reshiram, Xerneas, Surfing Pikachu VMAX. There's a code. All right, let's get into the other one, see what it has. Get that off out the way. See Froki and uh, Chespin and Finnegan, which I feel like Finnegan is really slept on because I feel like that was one of the cooler fire type designs. But definitely overshadowed by uh, Greninja. Uh -oh. No. Okay, we know right off the bat that this is going to be nothing good. So let's just... Let's see, can we get... Ah, Lugia, that's a pretty nice rare. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we got out of these. Xerneas. Kyogre. So Galio, so nothing too crazy yet. Hopefully I can get one of the cards I need out of this pack. Give me some last pack magic, please. All right, let's see what we got. Anything? Nothing. That's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Man, I swear with these celebrations, it seems like the cards that I don't have are just eluding me and just keep getting doubles. I'm looking to make trades here locally though. So hopefully that way I can get closer to making, uh, completing the master set of this. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, peace. Let me know what uh, also you guys are opening let me know what your luck is like <clears throat> and also are you getting a little burnt out on celebrations because <laughs> it gets a little annoying opening up the cards and seeing the same stuff and honestly i'm just being getting unlucky with hitting like all duplicates and not getting anything i need so but man that's still a great set
it's still a great set i don't care i still love it but yeah guys thanks for watching and please stay tuned until next time see what i can find to open up for y'all